So let's talk about Silver's industrial side, the use cases for this material. Okay, here we go. List, list out all the reasons why it's reliable that silver price will continue to go up with some squiggly lines between now and then. It's used in solar panels. It's used in uh, battery technology. Mm -hmm. These are the two really, really big ones that consume the lion's share of silver uh, output. The, the thing is that we want to pay attention to is that as technology improves for these two use cases specifically, as more time goes on, the technology around solar and battery is rapidly increasing. Uh, Samsung has a new solid state battery technology and the loadings of silver required are more and more and more. Mm -hmm. uh, the new solid state batteries use way more silver than past better battery technology does. And so if we want to talk about like a long range, like 1500 mile battery pack in a Tesla or something five or 10 years from now, that would, that thing would have several kilos worth of silver in that battery. With solar, um, you know, silver is that exact situation where silver is like such a small cost for the total value and value of the, the panel that if you're going to double the amount of silver needed in the solar panel, it's going to be such a small percentage increase in the price of the solar panel that it will not actually, uh, you know, create a demand side fall. Okay, so there's a term for that. And so that's very important to talk about because it, it means that the price of silver for some of these, uh, you know, demand side um, part of the equation, it, it just really supports a reliable future floor in the price of silver. So the price of silver could double, triple, quadruple, and it wouldn't really have a material impact on the need or the criticality of the uses, and we would still process them as if silver didn't double, triple, or quadruple.